I'm Captain Dave Engel of Best Chance 2 Charter Fishing. Uh, we're going to run through why we chose Cannon Downriggers and why you should look at them when you're ready to play them. What the Downrigger does is let's just put the lure exactly where we want it. There's no guesswork about how far down we think it is or where it's at. We're marking the fish on the down on the graph up here. When we see where the fish are at a certain level or a certain temperature, we can then put our downrigger exactly where the fish is. It makes us more efficient fishermen. And we can repeatability is also there where we can put it back exactly every time. One of some of the features that you want to know about when you go to buy a downrigger is for one, every downrigger that's put out to the side of the boat like so should have a have a weight retriever like I'm showing here. This is the retro ease. It just allows you to pull the weight up and reach it without swinging it in or, or being difficult to have to pull it in some other way. Every, every rigger should always have one when it's fished out on the side like this. What we do is we tip our down rigger rod holders down low like that. You have some kind of release. There's a lot of different releases available in the industry. This release is simply going to hold our lure exactly where we want it. When a fish strikes, it'll release from the weight and we'll have them just on the rod reel with no weight on it. That's the real advantage of a downrigger. You're only fighting the fish and not all the weight and extra line and diving devices and other things like that. Okay. Not only that, it allows us to achieve much greater depths quickly and more accurately than we would with other devices. This Digitrol unit that we have here uh, allows us to program the desired depth. So we'll program in the depth we want it to go to, push select and run, and then automatically go find that depth. And it'll stop there every time. We like to keep a lot of tension in the rod. Uh, that way when it releases, the distance between the lure and the rod is a lot less. If you have a big sag in it, uh, there's a lot of slack there before you get to the fish and the fish doesn't seem to hook up as well. So keeping that tight like that is very important uh, when downrigger fishing. Uh, you, you don't want a lot of line laying out there. It's hard, fish get tangled in it when you bring them to the bowl and they, you, you get much less hookups. It's not a very good way to do it. Now, when we get a strike on here, you'll see that we'll see the rod move or it'll just release. As soon as it does, it pops off that easily. I have the fish on here and I have what's called auto up. That'll automatically come to the surface while I fight the fish all the way in and my weight will be back at the surface and ready to go again and out of my fishing way so I'm not tangled in it. It just stops there by itself. This is the best downrigger in the market today, high five.